Hey, what's going on YouTube? We got an awesome video for you today. We're doing a booster box opening of the new Pokemon set, Legendary Heartbeat. Not to do too much into the set, you already know. Pokemon released a new rarity, amazing rare. There's sits in the set. And what I've been seeing on a lot of videos is generally one pulled per box. Uh, there's 20 paths per box, so we're doing 40. Uh, hopefully we did some good pulls and make sure you stick around till the end, right? Because we're gonna be doing some awesome content at the end. This is my first video and why not? Alright guys, two Legendary Heartbeat Booster Boxes. Which one do we do first? Really doesn't matter. Go with this one. We're opening it. And before we get into opening it too much, I want to talk about how sweet this Booster Box looks because I just haven't seen the same quality in some of the American sets. And like, uh, you should know if you've looked into this at all, this is a Japan exclusive for sale in Japan only made in Japan super awesome all right let's get it open so as I said before we're going to be opening 40 booster packs there's seven packs per box so uh yeah that's pretty sweet 20 packs seven 140 per box you open it like this now we have our packs let's pull those out and we'll put them to the side and we'll get to the awesome part of opening it. It's such a cool box. I like the flaps and stuff. Real nice. Alright. First pack. A little technical difficulties, but it's alright. First video, you know. Oh, there we go. So these pack layouts are a little different than a lot of the American packs we see since there's seven. Uh, I've seen a lot of videos of people opening it and putting two to the back. So one, two, there we go. And let's uh, hope we pull that amazing rare. Imagine if it's on the first pack. Oh, Zoranis, nice. Nice rare, we'll put our mountains to set over here. All right. A lot of cool artworks coming out in this set. Oh, went too far. There's our rare, it's a trainer card. Cool. Like I was saying earlier, uh, each set has approximately one amazing rare, or each booster box rather. So hopefully, maybe we get two, who knows. The lead on the front. Reggie Rock, all right, that's the cool one I was looking for, so I'm glad we pulled that. Yeah, so this looks a little different. I saw a lot of people online talking about how uh, a lot of these cards are being reprinted and the future set coming out, Champions Path, which we will have a lot of content coming out on that. Should be pretty awesome. Um, really looking forward to it because. Uh, it's coined the name, the 2020 Hidden Fates, which, oh, well, maybe ruined a spoiler there, which, as everyone knows, is going to be an awesome set. I mean, look at online. <sighs> the new VMAX card, first introduced to Pokemon, looks awesome. Very excited we pulled that early on. Some sweet content. That's kind of weird. I don't know. They're not one to open, right? So, I apologize for the technical difficulties, but I'm still getting in my flow. What is there? No big deal. Oh, saw a potential other V card coming up. Oh, very nice. Not a V, but nice artwork. These cards shine a little different than the American ones, but I, I do like them a lot. They're, it's a very interesting set. And, you know, I feel bad because I wasn't particularly too excited about this set, but when it did 
first drop and I realized it was going to be a Japan exclusive, I kind of had to uh, jump on the bandwagon. So that's why it took a little bit for me to upload this video, but we'll do some updates to the studio coming soon and it'll be uh, some good content in the future. Nice, not the amazing rare we wanted, but it'll get there soon. Interesting. I don't think I've seen this rare pulled yet. I'm sure it has in videos. I just don't watch follow that many people, but can, can we admire the card back of this set? I think that's really cool that they did something different, you know? I think that's something that really speaks to how awesome this set is. So uh, we'll talk more about the Amazing Rares, really what's given this set all of its hype. Uh, particularly, I like the Raikou the, mo the most, but I know some people are looking for other stuff. Oh, ruin that again. I think I see a V coming up. And you know what's behind it? Oh man, it's not the VMAX. That's weird. That is so weird. Normally, when you pull this set, you when you get the V, you did the correlating VMAX with it. And we didn't get it, so that's... That's peculiar to me, so either way, really excited. It's an awesome looking card, and I hope you guys have good luck pulling as well as I do. what we did another v and v mats Ooh, the colossal v and colossal v mats look at those see now that pack was right that's what you're supposed to be doing right when you pull the v you did the v mats as well so uh, i don't know what happened with this pack right here may have been an anomaly but uh whatever i mean look at that beautiful artwork we got coming out of this set so hopefully the english set will reflect the same Sorry, I just uh, admire this artwork again. I mean, beautiful. All those legendary Pokemon. Some not legendary, but you know what I mean. It's a nice pack. Yeah, so just drop some comments below. Tell me what your lot's been. I mean, I want to know what other people are pulling. I want to know if anyone's pulled specifically an amazing rare out of a bots or which ones are... Which two amazing rares, rather? Oh, look at that. Two pats in a row like that. That's, you don't make up that luck. That's awesome. That is awesome. All right, let's go to the next one. Because honestly, as much as the V Max and the Vs are awesome to me, everyone's after the amazing rares. You can't, you can't make that up. Or else the set wouldn't have sold the way it did. I mean, this, from what I've read, this set is. Extremely popular in Japan right now and has gained a lot of momentum in the US. I was actually late to pre order this box because I didn't really know. It took me a minute to look into it. Moo Moo Cheese, that's a new one that I'll appear to talk about because, uh, really for the nostalgia of Moo Moo Milk that you got out of the older sets. Anyways, very nice, very nice, nice rare. Great artwork coming out of this set. I really love it. We're getting down the bottom of the box, so it looks like the Amazing Rares decided to uh, wait till the end, so let's see which one we get. I really like the Raikou. Leave in the comments below which one is your favorite, because uh, to me, that's the one that I want, you know? I really would like the, uh, oh, 
Nice rare right there. I really want the Raikou and the Salabi personally, but I mean, you can't help but appreciate all the artwork that's coming out of all of them. It's just phenomenal. And I mean, it's always exciting when a card set, especially like Pokemon releases a new rarity. I mean, that's, that's big. You don't see that too often, so. Very nice, very nice. So we're getting up. I have a feeling, guys. I have a feeling we're going to pull this amazing race soon. Just, who knows when it is, you know? But personally, when you're opening booster box, I almost enjoy when the pack that so happens to have the card that you want or decided to see is at the bottom because it's like saving the best for last, right? Ludia. Thank God. This is one that I really wanted to pull, guys. Let's take a minute and analyze this. This is just some super awesome artwork. Huge Ludia fan. It's probably just the nostalgia because, I mean, you're as old as me. I mean, we all saw this movie in movie theaters and Ludia is just a staple in the Pokemon series. I mean, look at that. Look at the way it shines. That's beautiful. I really wish they had a Ludia and Amazing Rare, but they didn't for the set. I actually, actually thought it was interesting that the only legendary doll they chose was... Raikou, but I'm not going to complain because I am a Raikou fan, so I'm sure no one's complaining about it, right? Because the artwork's awesome. Okay, let's go. Oh, whew, there it is, guys. Rayquaza, amazing rare. We finally got it. That was the first box, so we got a Rayquaza, which is... Personally, one of the other ones that I was really into. I know there's a lot of hype behind the Jirachi card. And uh, we'll be covering which ones have the more popularity eventually. But, I mean, just look at that. That Amazing Rare artwork. And the big thing with Amazing Rare, for people who don't know, is it, it spans the display of the actual card. And it comes out of it. And it's just it's just a beautiful. It's textured. It's, it's amazing. It's an awesome card. And I am very thankful to pull it. So, we got... What is it? Five pats left on this first box, so I mean, definitely gotta sleeve that up really quick. So let me do that really quick. We'll get that in a card saver after the video, but I mean, I'm definitely gonna send this off and did it graded through PSA. So I definitely am gonna post that later in content and show you guys what graded came back as, because I'm hoping for a Jimin, as does everyone, but I mean, just look at that. Beautiful card. Alright, five more pets. Let's go. Oh, well, that ripped weird. Give me a minute. Yeah, so uh, if you can drop in the comments below, I really... I'll probably say it a couple times during the video, but I, I just really want to know if anyone's pulled more than one Amazing Rare per box, because I know that's something besides the hype of this set that's really driving the price of the bots. Now, I was thankful to get these shortly after pre-order. Oh, the new Genesis set. That's one that a lot of people are talking about. Very nice card. Very nice. But anyways, like I was saying, uh, I know that the Amazing Rare, it being a new rarity, has driven a lot of hype into this set. So, you guys just let me you know if you've been able to pull more than one from a box. Just, I'm interested to hear the statistics on it. I don't know if, if it's possible, but if it is, I mean, that's awesome if you got one. <laughs> Haven't pulled that one yet. Nice. Okay. All right, guys. Three pats left. Let's see what we get. Drop some comments if you want, and uh, guess what? Maybe Amazing Rare will pull out of the next box. Just who knows? But I'm just it's static because Rayquaza. It's historically one of my favorite legendary Pokemon. A lot of nostalgia there. And uh, it just it just looks awesome. We'll go back to that after this pack, but I mean it just it's a great looking card. Alright, that's two of them. Very nice. Let's take a look at this one more time. Just look at that artwork. 
I know the Pokemon looks kind of simple in the drawing, but just the color, it just looks phenomenal. A lot to be excited about with this set. The second Dialga right there, but that's okay. This set's awesome. So if we pull duplicates, it's whatever. You expect it when you're opening a booster box. All right, guys. The last pack. Let's hope for a, a V or V mats, and then stay tuned because that second box we got another, at least one amazing rare coming on the way. Maybe we'll walk out of this with three. That would be awesome. Oh. There we go. All right, guys. So that is the first booster box, and we will go into the second one soon. One last look. Got the amazing rare Rayquaza. That is just a beautiful, beautiful card, and I can't wait to show you guys what Grady comes back from PSA. All right, guys. Box number one down. You know what time it is. Number two. Remember, sit around. We got a special unboxing at the end oh just ruined the secret but whatever now you know got a little unboxing at the end and we'll go over some future content for the video should be pretty exciting just get this thing open not child friendly sorry all right so break down the box again it's 20 packs so uh as you know, as you can see in the corner shot, we pulled the Rayquaza Amazing Rare. Uh, hoping for a Raikou, but really, whatever we get is whatever we get, you know. You always take a chance with booster boxes and hopefully some uh, exciting content coming your way. So here's pack number one of the Nets bots. It's number three, number three Dialga. That's all right. We'll get there. Oh, I think I saw a V. Sorry if I ruined that for anyone watching and on the edge of their seat, you know. <laughs> and it is another another Toga kiss that I got robbed on out of. The Hyper V Mats. Can you believe that? Whatever. We're hoping to pull that. We'll see what happens. I can't believe it's Tojutis again that is like that. I don't know what's going on with that. Because every video I've watched, people pull their V Mats with their V. And we got lucky on the other two. So we'll see what happens. Another Uranus, that's okay. So it wasn't that yellow background for that uh, Raikou, because to me, the way it just pops from what I've seen in pictures and videos, it just looks amazing. So hopefully we pull that. Let's see here. Oh. And that's the third one for that one as well, so. It's okay. Uh, if anyone has any suggestions for different things they'd like to see in my content in the future, I definitely have some uh, older stuff that I want to open up. Not too old, but uh, definitely from Burning Shadows. I have a big video of that coming up, which should be pretty awesome. That's the second one of that trainer card. The B drill for y'all if y'all wanted to see that. It's really exciting on common. Yeah, but, but yeah, future content if there's stuff you'd like to see or even critique it. I mean, I'm just doing this for fun. I had an idea a little while back and uh, one of my buddies was into video production and uh, I was like, hey man, if I'm opening booster boxes all the time, why not just do videos? You know? And uh, he was like, sounds like a fun project. Let's do it. Oh, and there we go, finally. 
Third time's the charm, right? All the pun intended. Uh, third toe to kiss we pulled and finally got the V-mats that was well-deserved. So, I mean, truthfully, I think the artwork for the V is a little more exciting, but I mean, who doesn't love a good V-mats? I mean, look at that right there. That is beautiful. And now we have three of these and we need two more to match this. So I don't think we're going to get there, but that's all right. We'll see what we did out of the uh, booster pats. It's all fun. Let's just admire that artwork again. It's probably like the third time I said in the video. I just, I love it. The Japanese pats have always, to me, done a better job at highlighting a set, you know? I mean, you know, with a lot of the American cards, you just get like, one, you know, some of your big hitters on the front of the pats, but this one has like the whole game right there. I mean, look at that. It's pretty cool. Yeah, so Raikou or Celebi would be super awesome coming up here, but who knows? What we'll pull. Oh, right as I said it. Are you serious? Look at that. Oh my god. Looks like that's our uh, guaranteed one amazing rare in the set. It's a Celebi. And that artwork is just beautiful. You know, I was talking to my friend before I made this set uh, video. And I was like, hey, if I pull the Celebi or the Raikou, I'll be happy. And the Rayquaza is actually, you know, a very likable card. And it's beautiful nonetheless. But I mean, look at this. Look at that Celebi. The way it contrasts with the green in the background, I mean, that is just, that is a big hitter. That's a money card. We're about to uh, sleeve that up, but I want you guys to do a close-up of that. I mean, look at that card. Men, uh, like I said, with this and the Rayquaz, I'm definitely going to send them off to get graded. So that'll be some later content at the end of another video where I show what the grade I get back is. But just look at that card. Magnificent. Sorry about the time it's going to take me to sleeve this up, but... uh. Definitely want to get this in a sleeve and in a card saver. As I recommend any viewer, if you pull an awesome card, do it, you know? Because, uh, why not? Just preserves your card. Let's keep it in a sleeve for now. All right. On to the next bats. And, uh, you know, I'm like the last booster bots where I got it towards the end. I got that in the beginning. So let's hope we get some sweet pulls at the end of this box i mean who knows you could get two amazing rares you know miss prints are a thing another genesect nice very nice Get back to the side. Number four. Yeah, so I kind of want to hear what your guys' opinion are on the new amazing rare artworks. Which one's your favorite, you know? Because they have things, cards in the amazing rare group stretching from multiple regions. So tell me what your favorite is because uh, my opinion doesn't prevail all. So if you guys think there's cooler ones than Number five, I believe. That's wild. Uh, if you guys think that there's a cooler one than Raikou, I'd love to hear your opinion because I think all the artwork in each of the cards are very appreciable. And I think they're really awesome and good looking cards. So I would like to see it in future English sets, but who knows? That's up for Pokemon and that's kind of out of my hands. Don't think we pulled one of those yet. But nonetheless, a good looking card. I think uh, something to admire while this is a Japan only set is uh, the artwork is awesome in all of them, really. And I think that's something to, that's admirable about the whole set. Like I said, uh, I have pre ordered a bunch of new Champions Path stuff, which is a new set coming out for the holiday set, so to speak. And I think there's a a lot of neat stuff that's going to be in there. I've seen a lot of the VMAX cards, and of course everyone's hype about a new Charizard, because who isn't excited about that? Another Regirock. I want to take a minute to admire this. I really like the artwork that they chose. I don't know why there wasn't a Regice or Registeel in this set, but I do think that Regirock was an awesome pick, because Pokemon's been good about the artwork that they have for it, and it's a, it's a good looking card. Sweet artwork, you know? Doing maybe a rock smash or something. I don't really know. But uh, there you go. Under the next pack. So uh, I'm really excited for this content that I'm about to put into at the last of this video. Because 
It's not Legendary Heartbeat, but it could be something potentially more exciting. Who knows? And that kind of keys into the mystery of what's coming your way. I know, guys, I'm sorry. These packs are a little daunting now that the amazing rare has been pulled. They're kind of like, oh, well, who cares about this segment of the video? But there is still the fact that you never know what you're going to pull. Another Lugia. That's what I was hoping for. You know, I know it's not the rarest card in the set, but I really am contemplating getting these graded just because I'm a huge Lugia fan. I got one from Neo not too long ago. It's not a first edition, but I do want to get it graded. Got a pretty good deal on it. And uh, Lugia is just a very likable Pokemon from the uh, lore because I mean, it's Lugia. It's like one of a. Uh, Two Pokemon that talked, you know. Oh, a V coming up. I ruined that for you guys. Let's see what it is. Oh, nice. You know, I, I'm not going to lie. When you're opening packs, you get kind of distracted and you're like, oh, well, I pulled everything I wanted to pull. But this, this is a card I wanted so bad because while Ampharos isn't the most sought after or loved Pokemon, well, maybe not loved. I think people like him a lot. He's not known for being that strong, but I love Ampharos, and there's been a lot of sick artwork throughout the years, and this is just a nice artwork, and awesome for this set, because I'm pretty sure it may be exclusive to it, unless they release it in Champion's Path, but from what I've seen, I don't know if they are, but I love this card. I'm sorry. I am probably didn't get this graded, just because I love Ampharos so much. It's like one of my Pokemon that I enjoy a lot, but... uh all right, guys. Yeah, we'll keep moving on. That's awesome. I'm glad we finally pulled one of those. It would have been cool to see an Ampharos V Max, but uh, hey, I'll take we'll take what we can get, right? If you love Pokemon, you love Pokemon, and keep opening packs. Two can Sam right there. Oh, I think that's the second one we pulled, but it's cool. Just add it to the binder and be another one of those exciting things. All right, guys, we're getting down only like four packs left until we get to the last exciting segment of this video, which will be sooner or later, I promise. I know this is a little daunting, but I am excited that we finally pulled an Ampharos. I don't know if that's one of the harder Vs to pull, but maybe that can add to the statistic of what you're likely to pull if you do, in fact, get this box. Second one there. Put that over there in our rare and B pile. All right, guys. Three packs left. Three left. Let's see what we get. The graveyard. It would be cool to get some more Vs. I think we just got one. I'm sorry for ruining that again, but... uh. All right, good old great ball. Nice. What is it? Ooh, another Colossal and Colossal VMATs. You know, me and my friend were talking about it in between uh, the booster bots. It's just, you know, we took a break because we're human. We're not androids. And uh, this artwork is really appreciable, you know? I mean, most V and VMATs do well on their artwork, but this is just, like, above and beyond. Like, these cards look phenomenal, and the artwork is just really cool. Like, it's awesome. All right, guys. Moving forward. Speaking of VMATs, I'm still trying to get over the excitement that we finally pulled the Togekiss VMAT because we got robbed not only one time, but two times. And the third time, you know, we, we lucked out. The pack was the way it was supposed to be. So, really, we should have had two more Togekiss VMATs, but we didn't. No harm done. Still love the set and still really excited to see what else. Okay, that's the second one of those. That's nice. All right, guys, and here we are, the moment of truth, the last pack. Will it hold an amazing rare? Uh, well, there's only one way to find out, and it probably won't, even though I'm an optimist, but just based on what we've seen people pulling, it really has been about one per pack. I haven't seen a video yet of someone pulling two per booster box, but, uh, you know, we'll see. Looks like there may be something good back there. Let's see. Uh, 
Oh, second one of those. And there you have it, guys. There's our two booster bots opening. I hope that was a good idea to give people a gist of, hey, if you open it, that's what it is, you know? So enjoy, guys. All right, guys, that was our opening of two Legendary Heartbeat Booster Boxes, our Amazing Rares we pulled, Celebi and Rayquaza. Super exciting. We got one of the ones I was hoping for. So hoping for a Raikou, didn't get it. No harm done, right? I mean, there's plenty of boxes. Maybe we'll get another one, who knows, in future content. But for right now, that special segment I promised you guys, let me grab that really quick. At Walmart right now, they have the mystery power bots, right? Super exciting. You get five assorted booster pads, two Mr. Adams, a coin and a code card, which is gonna be for you guys. So if it's ever first, lucky you, you can add it to your TCG online game. Uh, one in five chance of pulling a vintage pack. Now, I don't know what that means as far as what vintage pack you can pull, but uh, if we pull Neo Discovery out of this, it's gonna be a great day. I don't know what to say. It's already been a great day. We pulled two amazing rares and the booster boxes were phenomenal. I loved everything we pulled out of it. And I hope you guys did too. So without further ado, let's get to opening this thing. All right, guys, like I said, we're gonna be opening this mystery power box. We're gonna move our amazing rares out of the way. All right, let's see what we pull out of this. And I don't know what the contents of it look like inside. So I'm sorry if uh, we do pull a vintage pack and it falls right out, but I mean, I won't be that upset. Let's get this thing open. Five packs, I don't know how far back it reaches as far as when it claims vintage pack. I doubt it's a base one booster, but let's go. Pulling out everything. We're just gonna dump it out. We did it. Uh, there's a code card. Thanks for watching. That's for whoever gets it first. Yep, there we go. It's there. So there is everything. Let's see what we got out of this thing. Unified Mines, XY Flashfire, Shield and Sword, Cosmic Eclipse. Whoa, this had six booster packs. Okay, Sun and Moon and Cosmic Eclipse. Very nice, very nice. We got six booster packs, only labeled five and two diffs. Oh, there was a coin. I thought there wasn't a coin. Look at that. Nice. I was hoping for a Charizard one, but you know, Pedgers can't be choosers. There's the coin. Throw that off to the side. Got a Dogat and a Pavilion. Nice. Let's get that over there. All right, guys, let's open these packs. Maybe we'll get a last minute sweet pull. Let's see. And I'm just gonna open these straight up, because why not? Because I'll save the code card for last for all of you awesome viewers. And a cloister is the rare. Uh, not what we were looking for, but who cares, right? This is just for fun. There's the code card. There we go. So these last code cards are gonna go straight to you guys. We'll do that. We'll just do it first off, who cares? There you go, guys. That's for you. Hopefully it boosts your trading card game online. Been meaning to the end of that, but I haven't yet. Nice. Full art. Very nice. And a wheezing is the rare. This is a rare ult, so I like that card a lot. That's some cool artwork. I'm going to put those to the side. And, yeah, a bunch of other stuff that no one's that excited about because it's commons and on commons or not. So we have a normal base set, Cosmic Eclipse. Graveyard for you guys. I won't make you wait. Code card, bam. Nice and a Pikachu full art. I have not seen this card, although I did get back in Pokemon recently. It's pretty exciting because what's not to love about that? It looks like uh, you're in uh, Pallet Town and you just got your Pikachu right there. That is awesome. And put that to the side and the rare is an ursa ring so 
I'll take it. That, I think that's pretty awesome. It's really cool artwork on that last card. Sword and Shield patch. I uh, wasn't the biggest fan of that set. I thought they could have done more with it, but I did it. It is a uh, base set, so the other day I do. With that being said, Champion's Path is something to look out for, and I think it's going to be really awesome. Rhyhorn. Reverse Hollow Mudbray. Not that exciting. What do we got behind it? A Draport Drapion. Jeez, my words today. It's a rare. All right, we'll put that to the side. And there is your code card. So we'll keep that in the shop for a second so you guys can pause the video. Take a look at that. Put it in your game. Good deal, guys. Unified Minds. A lot of hype in that set. Maybe we'll pull something cool. But whatever we pull, I think this is already awesome. I think it's super cool that we got six packs instead of five that was advertised. And yeah, I mean, that's awesome. T two bat to bat, look at that, reverse holo. Let's see what's behind it. A Steelitz, I love Steelitz. I was really hoping to pull one out of uh, Legendary Harpy, but we didn't. And that's okay, because you guys have the code card now. Add it to your game on me. All right, guys. So we have an X and Y flash fire. Feels like a heavy pack. Uh, that could mean there's something super awesome in it. So we'll just have to find out. I think uh, I think we lucked out on this one, maybe, you know? We already got more than we bargained for, so to speak. And don't worry, I'll include the code card, no matter how sweet the pull is, or if it's not, either way, it's something to add to your game if you're first to view this. Very nice. Floet. And a Lutz Ray. Rare. Cool. All right, guys, I had a lot of fun opening all these packs, and there's your code card to add that to your game. Good stuff, guys. Have fun. Alright guys, that's the content for today. We, we opened up two legendary heartbeat booster boxes, Japan exclusive, phenomenal, and a mystery power pack from Walmart. Highly recommend picking those up if you see them, because the price value is right, and what you get inside, in my opinion, is worth it. Subscribe below if you like what you saw, because we're going to have more content coming towards you, and I'll definitely be letting you guys know what PSA grade we get on these awesome pulls. Take care.